A while back I was given all this wood up here by a friend of mine. A um, bunch of short pieces there, probably um, maybe three to on the, on the bottom there, on this corner here, there's four or five pieces that are maybe five inches wide. The rest are two to three. Uh, and, and some consistent lengths. So what I, my, my intention is I want to build a dog feeding station for our dog. And uh, that makes pretty, pretty good sense, doesn't it? Dog feeding station for our cat. <laughs> oh, a dog feeding station for Teddy. And uh, what, I, what I want to do is take these pieces, I'll laminate them together and make boards. Uh, for a couple legs and then uh, you know the main platform type deal so I want to use that up uh, in in this project and let me show you what I've got in mind. way to prepare your material, and this is my opinion, is to surface one side, you know, a face jointed, run it through your planer, get these two sides parallel, then you can bring it back to your jointer and do, uh, you know, edge joint, whichever way is best, because you've got two parallel uh, faces. So that's going to be my next operation. I'll run these through my my joiner or my planer, sorry, and get these uh, all surfaced up, uh, the, as thick as possible, leaving as much material as possible, and then I'll come back here and do that operation, edge join them, and rip them to width, then come back and and join that edge as well. Just did my last piece here with this face against the fence and this edge down. Then when I get done, I came over here and stacked them all the same way. And you might be asking why is that important? Well, I know that this face was up against the fence and this edge was jointed. So it was like that. All of these were that orientation. So when it comes to doing this side, and when I put the pieces together, I want one face up, one face down, in case there's any air in my jointed edge here, it'll cancel out when I go to put them together. I'm going to make sure I put these back. So yeah, that looks, that looks good, but it may be, you know, over the long haul, creating a bit of a cup, and I don't want that to happen. Uh, granted, this is not that wide a piece, but just just something to keep in mind when you're doing your your S4Sing here. Actually, I'm going to be S6Sing them. So now I'm going to take them to the table saw, rip them at, as wide as I can on, on maybe most of the pieces or all of them to the same width. And um, we'll see how it turns out. Then I'll bring them back here and uh, joint that other edge and uh, t take the saw marks off. Now here's the other thing. I want to mark these before I move them, so I make sure that I that I keep this orientation. So I'll go X and X, and then that way I'll be able to figure out uh, my next operation easier. All right. So back to the table saw. Uh, X up, and then X is to the fence. I did a pre-saw here where I've got them stacked. Uh, widest to narrowest. So I'll keep moving my fence over uh, just a little bit. I've got an 80 tooth blade in here. I'm not going to change it uh, because I'm just taking skin cuts here so it should be okay. 
and uh, give, you a, give me a little cleaner cut probably. So let's see how this goes here. All right, I'm going to cut the, the uh, boards to the length here. And I'm going to keep my X up and my X to the fence. And I didn't mark the other side. I know that which way those are. So that I know that that was oriented that way. So we'll just go with that. I'll trim these to length. As I'll take and get the longest board I can. And then we'll see about cutting them uh, after that. Okay, S6X, X, or S6S. Let's just see what we can get here when we lay these out now. So if I have X up, and X goes to Y, or X goes to blank. Let's see how wide that is. That's eleven and three quarter. Let's try. Let's take this one out. That's a full twelve. That'd be good. And then twenty four is. That long. Get something in here. That's better. All right. That's twenty four. So I need a board as wide as this one which is that one. That can get cut here and or cut in half and do those two pieces. Now I need a piece this wide. And that can do those two pieces. 